Harry and Meghan have scorned the people of Montecito. They live too isolated. Hello friends and welcome to the breaking news of the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. Harry and Meghan Markle have been accused by residents in Montecito of having a bad attitude towards them since they first moved in. Residents of Montecito have informed express.co.uk that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not universally respected and that some people believe they have got a bit of an attitude. After the Duke, aged 38, and the Duchess of Sussex, aged 41, stepped down from their royal family duties in 2020, they moved to the neighbourhood's star-studded area. Archie, aged 3, and Lilibet, aged 1, are being raised by the royal couple in their expansive castle. Their home reportedly has a tennis court, private gym, movie theatre, spa and playground all for Archie and Lilibet. Express.co.uk went to the beachside town on Tuesday and spoke to locals there. Katie, a retired university lecturer, claimed that the Sussexes' relocation to Montecito, a celebrity hotspot, had left many locals split. Some people say, yeah, fun, but many others also think they have a bit of an attitude, she said. They are not, in my opinion, widely regarded. She acknowledged that she had driven up the street where the Sussexes' family resides and that the residents are interested in their well-known royal neighbours. They are intrigued, Katie continued. People are curious about what others are doing. They are not doing it maliciously. She said that she did drive up their street once, but that she did not stop or even look in at all. Another local named Judy rejected the Duke and Duchess as public people because she is not really interested in them. She went on to say that she knows people who are interested in the couple and curious about what they are doing, but she said that she is not very interested in learning more about them. However, Dave Kanarek, a sports sales agent in Santa Barbara, California, told Express.co.uk that he has not actually heard anything about Harry and Meghan going about their lives in the region. The Duke and Duchess, he said, from outside mountain air sports, keep themselves to themselves. He went on to say, They reside here because it is a relatively laid-back community. Additionally, it is one where the superstars that live here are treated just like anybody else by the locals. But according to recent rumours, the Duke and Duchess may choose to leave Montecito, which is home to stars like Gwyneth Paltrow, Orlando Bloom and Ariana Grande. Many people are curious about Harry and Meghan's real estate transactions. Can they make a big profit from selling the house? One expert replied, Their current home sat on the market for several years before they bought it, so there is no guarantee that they would be able to sell it in a timely manner. In addition, the property has a $9.5 million mortgage, which currently has a balance of about $9 million. If they are able to sell it for what they paid for it, not a sure thing given the property's selling history, they may net out about $6 million after the closing costs. A few miles from their present home is the upscale neighbourhood of Hope Ranch, and the pair may be considering moving there. However, the very affluent Hope Ranch would provide a wholly different game for the Sussex family. And this is according to royal writer Tina Brown. She said... In Montecito, their $14 million home is a small hamlet compared to what these other folks have there. Tina was speaking at the Henley Literary Festival. Harry and Meghan's plan to move to Hope Ranch has been horribly ironic. Most of the audience said that their economy is not suitable for this rich area. One representative said, All of the homes at Hope Ranch do not cost $20 million. 
although that is how they like to roll. I do not think they have the money and the jobs to support the house they have now without help from King Charles or William. They have nothing to peddle except their tales about the royal family, and that story has gotten quite old. Harry and Meghan's attitude to life seems to have annoyed people in Montecito. One resident, unable to contain his anger, commented to express.co.uk and said, Nothing changes. It just becomes a bigger version. When living at Frogmore, Meghan and Harry wanted to move the staff car park because they wanted privacy. They did not want any members of the public to see them, or their dogs for that matter either. Under no circumstances try to approach us or even say hello. We want our privacy. Then they jet out to America because life in the United Kingdom is unbearable because there is no privacy. Didn't Oprah live next door at this point? I know that she has now moved anywhere. They now have Fort Knox security and are as arrogant as ever. Changing the climate with their gas guzzlers and private jets. Did they not get an award for standing up about climate change and that type of travel? American neighbours do not approach this couple because they know that they need their privacy. They are very delicate and special people. But Meghan is still no princess and she never will be. She also has no palace. It is said that Harry looks unhappy when he has to treat others badly the way Meghan does. Royal fans always hope that Harry's marriage to Meghan will break down so that he can be freed. One representative said, just wait for the divorce. Harry will be in a world of pain when she starts writing books about him. I can see it now. My life with Prince Harry and his mental illness the royals tried to hide. It will be all about his melancholy and paranoia and how the royals wouldn't help her and take care of him. How it got so extreme after his family abandoned him that she feared for the life of her children and that he would try to end them all. Harry hasn't seen anything yet. She will leave him once his money dries up. His timer is already on the countdown. I feel sorry for Harry and his children because he obviously adores them. What little time they have got to spend with him, I am assuming that they love him too. But one day, Meghan is going to take him for everything he has, including his children. Now this will be incredibly hard on Harry and his children, but Windsor will no doubt turn his children against him with her lies. It was reported that she called her lawyers after the Jubilee. At the time, it was thought to have something to do with his book and Netflix, but maybe she changed her will to ensure that Harry gets nothing. I hope so. That would teach him not to sell his soul for dollars at his family's expense. Another person said, It must be awful living with that. She is so full of herself. There is a rumour going around in America that those two are not getting on at all at the moment and that she is seeing someone else behind his back. And by all accounts, no one in Monty Shitshow has seen either child. If they do in fact exist, they are prisoners in their own home, or they don't live there and are being looked after by somebody else. Whether any of that is true, I have no idea, but it wouldn't surprise me. They are hardly keeping to themselves. They have bought public relations firms to keep them in the news daily to compete with William and Catherine. But it makes them look ridiculous. They are trying to make out that they are high-ranking royals trying to impress somebody else. It is so obvious that they are just trying to compete with the future king and queen of England. It's been the same old story Harry's whole life, trying to be equal to his brother. Harry is as bad as Andrew, the other spare heir who's done nothing but embarrass the royal family. What do you think about Harry and Meghan's much-hated life in America?
Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. We hope you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.